Hi, y'all. I'm back. How are y'all? All right, so we're going to talk about it. Why I can't find no good man? Why can't you find a good man? <clears throat> so we already know that this channel is mostly about gold digging and whatnot. <clears throat> but I know there's some women who are not watching actually to gold dig, but to find a good man or to have tips and clues on how to <clears throat> have a man and whatever, whatever. But this goes for everybody, whether it's a rich man, a poor man, or whatever. Medium, mediocre man. You can't find a good man because they're not going to be good for you. That means they're not going to be on their best behavior until you are the woman that they actually want to settle down with. So the reason why most women can't find a good man is because they're not being their best selves for certain types of women. You know, you ever had um, an ex who ran off to get married right after uh, leaving the relationship, was married a month, six months to a year later? That's because he found someone that fit his description of wife material. Okay. So you may have, you may know a good man. You may be in a relationship with a good man, but to him, you are not the type of woman that he's going to be good for. You know, he's not going to straighten up and act right for someone who is not his depiction of what he wants to marry. So that's why I'm saying you need to level up a hundred percent as much as you possibly can so that the man that you, any man that you're dealing with will always be on his best behavior. This is the only way you're going to find if he's a good man or not, because most men aren't going to put their best foot forward in a relationship. Okay. They're not going to try to prove themselves to you and act like, you know, their, their husband material or stick around much longer after they got what they wanted to get. Why? Because you don't bring it out of them. And so if you are the real prize, you will find good men everywhere. They will be trying to prove themselves to you day in and day out, even after marriage. Okay. So being married for what? 12, 13 years. I don't even know how long it is anymore, but being with the same man for 18 years and he's still bringing roses and, you know, doing what he needs to be doing. I feel that because I'm doing what I need to be doing and at any time, you know, if something were to happen, you know, I'm good and I don't really need him. I think that's what keeps a man being good. So never let yourself go. I mean, you, you may catch yourself slipping, bring it back. You know, you got, you got a couple of months, six months to a year, you know, to work on yourself, do it. Um, and you'll see a good man reemerge. Let's say you're in a marriage. You'll see a good man reemerge once you start taking better care of yourself. You'll see a good man show his qualities when you start putting yourself first. Okay. So there are good men out there, but they're not advertising themselves and I know that because I've heard I've heard and seen private conversations and things like that especially online and whatever whatever where men talk about how you know um, they treat certain women you know they put you in a category and you may be six month woman you may be wife material you may be one night stand material and a lot of men um put you in that category. Mm -hmm. They all want sex only. That, that's true. But there's some that want more than that, but that's not what you're going to attract in a certain manner. Like if you're online, if you're trying to find a man online, you ain't going to find, you're not going to find the good ones. Should I date while I'm in the, yes, you should always date. Thank you for the donation. How else are you going to know the difference? Hi, beautiful. Thank you for sharing all your knowledge and advice. Sending love from NYC. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Rachel. Um, thank you, Rachel, twice. Hey. 
So yes, please. Um, they want that only, but if you're meeting men online, they think that's what you want to be. And they think you do that all the time. They think you're searching for the same thing they're searching for, maybe for a little extra cash, though, while you're at it. So that's why I'm saying, that's why I keep saying, don't don't always meet men online because they're going to treat you like, you know, a piece of meat. Meet men in person. Meet men by accident. Meet men in unconventional places where they're not expecting to meet or run into a beautiful woman, you know, where their mind is not focused on only sex, you know. So you have to be unconventional sometimes. You have to get out of the mindset, oh, I'm going to get online and start dating. You won't get the respect that you deserve dating online. Ask any man. He's not going to treat you the same as he'll treat someone he ran into in a uh, parking lot or, you know, at the grocery store or whatever. You're not going to get the same respect. Um, <laughs> so get offline and go try to meet real people in real life. They can't swipe you. <laughs> Thank you, Sierra. Thank you for all that you do. Sprinkle, 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 everybody. Yes, sprinkles. Thank you, girl. That was a very nice donation. So good men are out there. They're begging for good women to uh, show up like, and need their help and need their assistance. That's why I tell you guys, when you go out, ask for help. Okay? Ask for help. I always have people help me, even though I don't, I mean, I always take help. Oh, could you reach that for me? Oh, could you, well, you want me to, you want me to pick that up for you? Sure. Don't ever say, oh, I got it. I got it. Or no, I don't need help. Always accept help no matter what, because you don't know who's watching you, who's peeping you, if that man is interested in you or not. And plus it helps you to not struggle and strain yourself. And it, you know, makes you seem like a lady. No, always take that help. You know? Uh, unless you're in a dark alley in the middle of the night and it's a, it's a scam, but you know what I mean. So my sisters say the same do better, right? Men on dating apps don't expect high caliber women. Exactly, Ash. They sure don't. They're just looking for whatever. Okay. They're just looking for one night stands up on there. Okay. <laughs> women haven't found a good man because they're dating guys they like instead of guys that like them true Jessica um if you are high in demand if you are a high in demand type specimen you're going to be able to call the shots you're going to be able to have many options and that's probably not going to be the best um, representative of a good man because they have too many options. So you're going to have to find someone that likes you way more than you like them. And we've already discussed that. So, right. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. You just bought an elliptical. Oh, I love the elliptical. I have, I, I have, um, a gym membership and that elliptical is like, but I need to get on it more. I, I, do love the treadmill, but the elliptical is like gonna make you sweat. Yes. Okay. Women should go on a Tinder strike and see what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the tech nerd, all the tech nerds with money are online. Yeah, that's because no one, because their fantasies haven't come true in person. Imagine if you could make a tech nerd's fantasy come true in person. How they, how much more you would get out of one? You run into one at the uh, Apple Store or wherever they be at Starbucks or whatever, and you drop something and bump into them. Oh, I'm so sorry. What do you think they're gonna do? They can't swipe left or right. They're just gonna be. Are you talking to me? Oh, let me get that for you. You know, imagine that online, they can act like a whole different person. But in person, they, yeah, exactly. Shook. You sh they will be shook it. And if, if you meet people in person, you're usually going to catch them off guard. They're going to let um, 
the vulnerable side of them come out mostly and it's going to be a chance meeting. So they're going to treat you very different. They're going to think you were sent from the, the heavens. Okay. So. Because like when you look online, it's like, it's not special. It's not special, you know, but when you meet someone in person and there's a chemistry, the one that you make, it's more special and meaningful and they take it more seriously, you know? So get out there. Mm hmm. You met your sugar. I'm not saying you can't meet people online. I mean, we know that's not true, but I'm saying if you want to, if you want to find someone off their guard and get treated with more respect and many of the girls that are online, you know, um, they're not all going to look or act like, or be like, you know, the diamond in the rough. So you got to get out there. Okay. Right. How to make men do whatever you say with him. Be a very powerful um, woman who knows how to use the power of suggestion. <laughs> That's how you could do it, make a man do whatever you like. Okay. Um, mm hmm. I. Right. Can't get out there to find a man and to pay bills while I'm here. I'll be at work all day paying bills. That's true. That's why you have to find a sugar daddy or you have to get fake injured at work or you got to do something or you got to save up some money or something. Girl, I'll fall quick at work. You better crack. You better drop, do the death drop at work and get it on camera. Say it's your back because they can't tell if your back is messed up or not. That's a whole science. <laughs> Get you some free time off. Paid. I'm serious because like, like I know a lot of women who have done that. They've taken time off work because they have an injury and they still getting paid. And they're out there freestyling it up. Some don't ever go back because they find somebody. Some have to go back or whatever. But still, you know, our lives are up to us. And if we choose, you know, to work, work it away and not be creative in how we do things, then that's how it will be. Okay. Um, right. What about the culture? What about it? Advice, great advice. My job is hot and sweaty. Girl, fall, 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 fall. They'll do anything for you not to sue. Get some fake blood and everything. I don't even. Halloween is coming up, girl. You can get some fake blood. Um. Your ex is starting to contact me again. I love him, but nothing has changed. Girl, why does your ex still have your phone number? Why isn't he blocked? You know? See, this is why I don't understand. Why do people go backwards in life? If your ex ain't a millionaire begging to pay all your bills, what you doing? If your ex ain't trying to pay all your bills, what are you doing? I don't need to hear that, you know? Blasphemy. Right. Right, right, right. A man asks for sex, but they'll respect you more if you don't give it to him. That's true. Don't ever give it to him. They may beg, they may whatever, whatever. But remember, Sharkeisha, Bonetta, and Picnisha will easily give it to them and they will be right back to you, taking you to dinner, buying you whatever you ask for, and still begging you for it the next day. Okay? So saying no is not going to do anything, but send them over Picnisha's house at 11 o'clock at night. Thank you. It's Daisia Thomas. I, I've been told I'm beautiful and have a good personality, also feminine. 
almost every day, but why aren't any man, Dusty or high caliber, asking me out on dates? Um, I'm zooming in. You need to be way more feminine. You need to you need to feminize it up, wear pink, get your nails done. Natural beauty and spectacular beauty are two different things. I see your natural beauty. But spectacular beauty is what gets you asked out. Okay, so heels, dress, nails, makeup, hair. That's what gets you asked out. Natural beauty is just, oh, she's a beautiful, natural, beautiful woman. I want to give her a compliment so she knows she's beautiful. But when you got, when you're representing, when he want to show you off to all his friends, that's when you get asked out. Okay, so level it up and you'll get asked out. Okay, they want a fantasy. If they ask you out, they want to show you off. They don't want to just take someone out that looks plain Jane. Not, I'm not saying you're plain Jane, but I'm just saying get spectacular and you'll see the difference. She, I'm dating someone for one year, proposed to me. He got promotion, making over 100000 want me to move to Chicago with him in two months. Says I don't have to work. Should I move? Oh, to Cali to shine with him. Mm -hmm. Um, make sure you have enough money to move back if you don't like it. So that is my best advice. If make sure you have enough money first to get back home if you don't like it. And remember. <laughs> You're, you are redoing your whole life for him. So he better have some money. And people are saying 100K is not enough in California. Maybe in Sh Chicago it might be. I don't know. But what I'm saying is make sure you have enough money to get back if it don't turn out correct. Mm -hmm. Um. Someone says get married first. <laughs> Yeah, if it's been two years, you might as well. Mm -hmm. Isn't it dangerous to move in with a man? Not if you got a gun and a knife or a taser. I don't know. I mean, it, it ain't dangerous if you got weapons. I mean... Can, how can I make him ask me to be his girlfriend before we become intimate? Tell him no, no sex without commitment and commitment requires full bill pay. I don't want to work anymore. Girl, that's what you got to do these days. Look, I don't, I'm not intimate with anyone who's not my boyfriend in a committed relationship with me. And anyone I'm in a committed relationship with is going to be, uh, you know, supporting me financially. So unless, and I don't want to have to work anymore. That's what you got to put out there. Okay. Why? Because think about this. If he hit it and quit it and, and he leaves, then what? You know, you and you need him to be paying your bills up for like at least two times before you even give him anything. And once he's invested that much money, he ain't finna let you go that quick. And by that time, he's going to be hooked. OK. And he knows that it's going to take another man of higher caliber to get back to you. And so you're not just sleeping around with everyone. He understands that. So he feel, feels you are the prize. OK. So, you know, to find a good man, you also got to act like a good woman. You can't be sleeping with everything. You can't can't do that. Thank you, Grassi. You, if you sleep with somebody quick, they know. They know you just slept with everybody quick. Okay? So don't ever do that. No matter what. Mm-hmm. I don't care how much they're begging and lying to get it. Don't ever give it unless they are fully invested. And you have the receipts and the money. And you don't work. And all of this. You know, until you got money in your pocket for months. And you are good. You don't give it up because they, like I said, they can go get it from anybody who's desperate 
and will be right back to you after they finish getting it from them to give you more. Thank you, Deanna Joel. Leveling up is a lot of mental energy. It sure is. But once you get the rewards, it's well worth it. It sure is. Thank you, Geeky Cheek. Geeky Sheet. Okay. Thank you for the donation. He bought me an iPhone XR and $900. That's good. You need a lot more than that. Because anybody can go get a credit card and buy that, baby. You need a lot more. You need about 10 times more than that to even think about it. Okay. I just spent that on school stuff. And my kids ain't going to do nothing. They ain't going to clean up their room. Okay. Thank you, Dominic Quinn. I'm 25 looking leveled up always. Have great sugar daddy, but I have a young child. Will a rich man marry a woman with a kid? Um, if he if you get him hooked, he sure will. He sure will. And if you if you um don't tell him about the kid, I don't know if you're enough. Get him hooked first. He ain't gonna care. He's gonna be like, oh good, she's gonna be home all the time, he's gonna be running the streets. It might be an added bonus, right? Am I single? No, I'm married, baby. I've been with the same man for 18 years, been married for like 13 or 14 years. I can't even remember. It's going on 14. Okay. You can pay monthly, make them pay monthly payments. Okay. What should a real daddy do after the first date? Make a second date. To take you shopping, ask you what your favorite things are, so he could gift you. Ask him if you ask, ask you if you need bills paid, and if you need some money, if you are okay. Otherwise, he's just trying to figure out if you understand your power. How do you handle older female friends who hate on me as a younger woman? Um. <laughs> Why should you care? Why Why is that a negative thing for you? They're supposed to hate. They're not supposed to be happy you look good and they don't. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Flip the poles? Let them hate. That's, that's, what they, that's what they do. That's what they do. Let them do. Let them hate you. If they stop hating you, you're getting old. If they hate, then let them hate and let the money pile up like 50 Cent says. Who is a good man for you? Who is the good man for you? Uh, the man I married. <laughs> Thank you, the enlightened one. I started a video series about me. Oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. I hope it's good. Um, hi, Shira. Advice for dating rich African man. In IT, I met him on the way walking home this weekend. I always look good. Da, da, da. Um, make sure he got real money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just go out on a date. You'll be able to see where he takes you, what type of car he drives. You know, get all the logistics first. Hey, I'm live. How to treat a man that's in jail. <laughs> and James like um like a ghost who picks the date location the man or woman um depends on you know the conversation but most of the time, a man will ask a woman where she wants to go or he'll make reservations already. So, <laughs> Hey, how no jailbirds, man, and, right, please no jailbirds. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. How can you get a man hooked, Shira, by not giving it to him, baby? Making him in, totally invest without any return. 
Okay? Think about it. If you have given money and money and money and money away to a cause and have not seen a return, you ain't finna let that thing out your sight. You're gonna call every day. You're gonna be like, what's up? What's my return? Blah, 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 blah. You know. Until they keep giving you excuses, excuses. You're gonna be you're gonna have faith because they're gonna keep promising you things. <laughs> That's how you get them hooked. Then you spend time with them, you make up a laugh. You make them feel close to you. You tell them some fake stories. You listen to their day, childhood stories. Let them go sleep with Pikmisha, Sharkisha, whoever. Don't be getting mad. Because as soon as they're finished with them, which is like their jump off, they come in right back to you to see if they can get a return on that investment, which they never will. You get them hooked like that. And once they feel like they might get, they're going to keep giving more and more and more until they finally get it. And when they finally get it, it feels better. It's more of a gift. And then they feel like it is theirs. They want to claim that because they have worked so hard for it. They want to make it theirs and only theirs because they have put so much into it. They will feel stupid if they just hit it and quit it and walked away. So that's how you hook someone. You do not give it up. You allow them to go hit Pygmesia because he don't want her. If he wanted her, he'd be over there. He wants you and you keep holding out and holding out and holding out and holding out until he tried to talk about marriage, talking about here's the ring. Talking about, let's go shopping. Talking about, do you need your car fixed? Talking about, you need a new car. When you start hearing those things, that's how you know you hooking them. When they start volunteering to buy you stuff so they can get to the cookie, that's how you know they're hooked. When they offering to give you money and suggesting stuff for you to be doing with them, that's how you know. Okay? You want to go shopping today? When they trying to get you out the house and lure you out the house by shopping or going to look at new cars or going to get something um, to eat at your favorite restaurant or, you know, trying to take you somewhere for the weekend and doing the separate rooms, no matter what, and already suggesting separate rooms before you even say no, have a chance to say no. That's how you know they hooked. OK. You have to use your mind. And your looks to get them hooked. You don't need to use your body. Let pick me. She use her body up. While you reap all the benefits over here. OK. And once they're ready, once you ready, once you finish, when, when you let that thing down. It's the anticipation will have built up so much. It's going to be the best thing he never had. It's going to be a night to him. He's going to see fireworks. Even if it ain't all of that, he's going to feel he, it's going to, the anticipation will make him believe it was worth it in all of it. He's going to feel like he's finally accomplished it. He's going to feel like he didn't conquered Mount Everest. Okay. So, and that should be a long time after. He has been dating you and spending money. Why? Because if you don't do that, he's going to feel like you're replaceable. It's time to move on. That was easy. Next. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Thank you, Foxy. Jay, thanks. I leveled up with the 62-year-old. Good for you, girl. Get that money. Um, What cities have the best-looking sugar babies? Um, I don't know. Any woman can look good if they just level up. So, A very feminine friend of mine is pregnant and two different men think they are the dad and they give her money for herself and the baby. She doesn't work. Good good scam. Fashion Bay 3 Turner. She, she doing good. She's smart. Kudos to her. Um, right. So a good man won't emerge unless you are a good woman. And when I say a good woman, I mean a woman he thinks is wife material. A wife material is not going to give it up. 
after three dates. A wife material ain't gonna give it up because he's about her iPhone X or whatever. That's not wife material. Okay. Um, a wife is not a wife material or a woman that he's gonna change for to be a good man for or just even be a good man for. It's not the type of woman that's going to be all you know, calling him all the time and you know, uh, being pick Misha ish either. You can't. He's not going to show his good qualities until you ignore all his scam. Okay. So when a man is trying to sleep with you, he's going to tell you all the lies you want to hear. He's going to ask you questions. What are you looking for in a man? He's going to ask you questions. Or how many kids do you want? He's going to ask you all these stupid questions men ask so that they can fulfill the answers and lie so until they get it. Then they disappear. You don't say any of those things. I don't even know if I want kids. I might but I'm not sure yet. Um, well, are you looking for marriage? Da, 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 da. Well, you know, I never really thought about marriage. I haven't met any worthy uh, opponent, worthy um, contenders yet, but I'm just having fun right now. They will automatically mentally readjust their thinking to now compete as a husband, which means they are going to be a good man for you. You have psychologically tricked them into acting like husband material to impress you because you haven't seen it yet. There's no contenders. So guess what they're going to do? Be that contender because it is natural for men to want to compete and give a woman exactly what she's looking for. And whatever she's looking for, if it makes him a better man of higher caliber and quality, that's what he's going to turn into. And once he sees that being a good man attracts a good woman, he's not going to expect you to bust it open on a third date. Okay. So you have to use this mind. You got to use this mind. You can't just think that by being pick Misha and busting it open is going to hook up that, that don't hook nobody. In fact, it makes them leave faster. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So make him think that by getting you is an accomplishment. By making you consider marriage, it's an accomplishment. By making you see him as husband material is an accomplishment. He's not going to treat you like pick Misha. It's, you're going to be on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. And right. And this is not for the average mediocre man that need help being a man. OK, this is not for those type of guys. This is not for bus stop Billy. OK. <laughs> this ain't for them. This is for a man who is prepared to be a husband. Okay. That means financially, mentally, physically. Okay. Bus stop, Billy. Bust, bus stop. Bus stop. Billy. <laughs> this is not for them. If they don't have a car, if they still live with mother, if they don't know, if they're, if they clocking in, this is not for them. Okay. You don't deal with these type of men. These are not husband materials. Okay. <laughs> Shira, I am level up woman, but don't attract affluent men. What do you recommend? Hanging out in areas where there are only affluent men. People watching, see what type of women that they come in with. Study, people watch, adjust behavior, adjust looks, okay? It's, it, that's all it takes. Just go in and, and do your research. When you have the looks down, it's time to focus on game. Exactly. So a, a good man is not going to emerge until you put those standards down, until you psychologically challenge him using reverse psychology. <laughs> then that's when he'll emerge. Okay. Men have to be tricked. You already know that men got to be tricked into everything or think it's their idea. We already know that. That's what we do. That's why we can do it so well. Okay. Um, why do men see you as masculine or quickly turn me into the friend zone? Because you are masculine. You might cuss too much. You may talk too loud. You may not wear feminine clothing. You may be 
more like a homeboy than a feminine woman to them. They don't want to open the door for you. They want to kick it with you and watch sports. So you need to turn into a girly girl who's helpless. I started to pick me. You started as a pick me. Self. Oh, Venus Christ. I started a Pick Me self-help series on my channel. Of course, you're my main inspiration. Love you. Oh, thank you, girl. Thanks for the donation. Well, good luck. Hope saving those Pick Me's. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Save them, girl. Um, and for those of you who keep asking, yes, I'm married. Okay. Yes. Like I would if I wasn't married, I wouldn't be up here talking. I'll be, I'll be on my other channels, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Yes. May I ask what type of nails you have? These are dip powder. Yes. Dipping powder. Why do men say they don't want a woman that wears weave and makeup? Because you are cheap if you don't wear that. It costs less to maintain you. And no other man is going to be checking for you, girl. And you're taking away from their down payment to their car that they're going to probably trick you into buying later on so that they can drive away into the sunset with Misha and their side child. So, no, don't ever fall for that. Um. <laughs> I can, you know, and it's true, you know, men that say that will break their necks looking at somebody walk by with the weave of makeup on while they're sitting there with plain Jane. So I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. She will, how do you know when someone is using you? When you are not getting anything in return of, from the relationship, if you still working, if you still paying bills and a grown man laying up in your house, you are being used. If you give it more than you're receiving, you are being used. If you're doing all the calling and texting, you are being used. If you have to ask that question, you're probably being used. Okay. I'm leveled up and always, but can use some help in the weight part. Okay. 1,200 calories a day. Don't go over. You'll be good. That's how simple it is. Okay. One, two, zero, zero. After that, stop. Put it. It don't get no plainer than that. It's that easy. Mm-hmm. She will. Why will a man leave you when you don't have sex with him? Um, Because A, you're not worth the weight. You're not leveled up enough. Or... They don't want to give you anything or you're not the one or they got pick me show over there waiting on. Um, you know, if you don't have a commitment with someone, if they're not good enough for you. They will go and get whatever they want, but they'll be right back after they get it. You know, so here's my thing. If you don't see with somebody and they leave you. They just wanted that only in the first place anyway. Think about it. If you met a man. And he was exactly wanted. And he said, I don't want to be intimate until I feel like it's time or I'm ready or I really get to know you. You ain't finna leave him. He the one. You ain't the one, baby. That's why he left you because that's all he wanted from you. Okay. So remember that. Do you like the website seeking or I don't I'm not on that website. I don't know about it. I'm married. Um I always say meet in person. Most men you meet online are gonna treat you like a piece of meat. Okay. How do you know when you are fully leveled up? When you no longer have to work, baby. When men are paying all your bills, when you can start your own business. With all the money you saved and earned from being with someone um, that's paying all your bills and giving you money left and right. That's how you know. Okay. Well, you can get a sugar dad. Um, how do you act when his 
a child still living with him at the same age. You have to be more sophisticated, like you're on a whole nother level. Okay. You have to be a little bit snooty. You can't try to be their friend that's the same age as them. You have to be a little bit more sophisticated in, in your mental. Don't use slang words, you know. Um, My man is getting me a flat. I assume he's going to pay for it. How do I ask him if he's going to pay for it? If it's in his name, his credit going to go bad if he don't get it. You know what I'm saying? But make sure your name is on the lease too. But make sure he's the one that's responsible for the money part. Sure, I'm 24, not settled in, not much money. How to be that woman? Um, look your best every time you leave your house. Be feminine and always ask for help. Shop and do all your errands in the very rich neighborhoods. You are bound to run into somebody with money because that's all that will be over there. Okay? And put yourself in the situation. Put yourself in the environment. Most men online are antisocial, dusties, and crazy. <laughs> right. Um, Shira, my husband pays all of my bills and takes care of me. If he cheats, should I cheat back or let him cheat in peace? Girl, if your husband is doing all of that for you and cheating on you, then you can eat, you can do whatever makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you want. You do it. You understand? If it, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you want to do it, do it. That's my best answer because like everybody's relationship is different. If you are with him for fidelity only and that's going to upset you, then great. If you're only with him for his money and his ability to pay bills, that it probably won't upset you. Um, because And if you have stayed leveled up enough, you know you have options and probably able to um, find someone better if you wanted to. So you need to keep all those options in mind, right? Um, that's why I say always stay leveled up. So if you need to leave at any time, if you need to replace them at any time, if you need to get an extra sugar daddy at any time, there are married women that have sugar daddies. <laughs> and they're not giving it up. They're just getting money, right? Um, and a lot of them, they won't leave their wives. So, I mean, I, I don't, for me, it, why did you get married? Take it from there. Thank you, 12 Creations. I believe it's a man's job to find us, not us to find them. Wouldn't you say? I agree. We need to put ourselves in situations, but we don't need to hunt. Love you. That's true. If a man finds you, if a man is looking for a woman, he's going to find a woman. But if he's not looking for a woman and you done put all this effort into getting ready, driving to the nice side of town, walking through the grocery store with your booty sticking out, you know, and he's not and he's got work on his mind. And you don't accidentally ask him, um, can you help me reach something in the aisle or accidentally accidentally drop something and he can't even notice you. Then what point is it? You know what I'm saying? He may be thinking about a grocery list and not when you need to put yourself right in space. You know what I'm saying? Because if we're we going to be waiting forever. Or you just need to look so good that he has to stop to notice you. He ain't got no choice. Right. <laughs> and that means you need to be the best looking thing up in there. Right. Right, right, right. So. Yeah. So a good man will make himself known because he sees you as someone he wants to be with long-term or even married. So otherwise you won't find a good man because they'll be hiding. Mm -hmm. What do you think of when men who are 40 plus never married and have no kids? I think they're afraid. They fear losing their money. And I think they fear losing their money to women because they don't feel like that they will have a guarantee of more money coming in. They ain't got it like that. Are there any reasons other than sex that a man would 
give a woman all his money. Thank you, toenail sandwich. <laughs> um, if if they were a financial dominatrix. <laughs> okay. If they found his um, weak spot, let's say he's an animal lover and this lady has a dog that needs multiple surgeries and the dog doesn't exist. Well, I don't know. We don't know. Look, everybody always asks me, how do I get my sugar daddy to pay for my surgery? Tell him it's for your dog. A man will pay for a dog surgery before he pay for some boobs or just for you to leave him and go do something else. Um, how to seduce a doctor? He won't make the first move. Fall. <laughs> Drop something. Mm -hmm. He can't make the first move and if he's your doctor. So because um, that's against their code. So I don't know if he's your doctor, but he might not be able to do that. It's unprofessional. Mm -hmm. Or if you work for him, it might be, a, you know. How do I make my rich boyfriend move me in when he knows I just signed a lease? Tell him you broke your lease because you have something that's not allowed. I don't know. I don't, go look up like what's not allowed like lying tell them you got um, an aquarium or something and go get an aquarium I don't know I don't know or just say that um, they found out that you're you hadn't been at your job long enough and they don't want to rent to you I don't know. make up something John and then show up with the suitcase mm -hmm. Can women be too feminine? They, they can be annoyingly feminine. You need to like have a, <laughs> yeah. I'm leveling up with my weight, but this guy keeps asking me to cook for him. Girl, if he asking you to cook for him, he ain't the one. How do you get rid of him? Ask him for some money, baby. Ask him for $300 to buy the groceries and ghost him. That's what I would do. See, a, a lot of women allow men to treat them a certain way girl act like you finna cook for him ask him all his favorite food tell him to make a list tell him to cash after you three hundred dollars so you can go to this grocery store and make this happen then go to him and get you some money and go shopping or do whatever you need to do get you some makeup buy you some level up makeup products and stuff like that you know shameless plug get you some of these brushes um yeah Get you the new autumn spice palette for fall. Girl, go get your, go tell him he's going to cook for him. Give him the wrong address and everything. Don't think, don't think I won't. <laughs> can you bake for an SD accident? Um, you no, know, you can go buy a cake and pretend you baked it from the grocery store. And he's going to know you ain't baking. Just, it's the thought that counts. Go buy you a regular old cake from the grocery store and put it on a plate and and, and bring it to his house. He gonna he gonna be like, mm, this tastes like grocery store cake. I'm good. I don't know. Um, thank you, Latoya. You bought all my books. You read them all the other day. Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, so make sure you, you girl, get up, get them to get all excited about this food you send to cook, send them pictures of food. Um, mm -hmm. um, and get his money. Act like he, he gonna believe it too, because he thinks that you're desperate. Get them all believing in it and go get that money, girl. You can get it too. In fact, Many of you uh, ladies who may have this problem with men asking you to cook can really scam really good. And y'all need to be taking care of that. I mean, y'all need to be taking advantage of that cooking stuff, okay? Like you disappear after after you get that cash out or that PayPal money, you disappear. You're like, oh. Mm -hmm. 
they I can't cook. Uh, I burnt my hand or just disappear and ghost. Okay. You work with him. He is not my doctor. Okay. Well, it would be unprofessional as well. He might get a reputation. He would probably want drama in his workplace, baby. That's probably why. He's willing to pay small bills, but not rent. And Carno, any suggestions? Um, Double all your small bills and get your uh, Carno paid at least. Every time I tell you guys to double your bills or double the cost that you want, y'all really need to double it. Mm-hmm. Have introduce a new small bill. Okay. Out. If they want to hit it, quit it. That's why I always tell women, don't tell me you have kids until after you know 100% truly interested in only you and are already invested in you. You know, because a lot of men target women with kids because they think they're easy. Um, so, no, I really, I wouldn't take anybody that met me with a child seriously unless they forking up serious money from, from get. Okay. Mm -hmm. To begin, level up, do your hair, makeup, nails, wear heels, go to Richard parts of town. That's right, Erica. That's right. Um, What do you think about an older woman with a younger guy who she pays for everything that keeps cheating on her? I think she's a super pygmesia in denial and desperate. Which man... Which men pay up tired of talking? Wait, which men pay up tired of taking care of them? The men who find a fantasy woman. Okay, you have to level all the way up. You can't just show up and say, I want a man to take care of me and don't look like the type of woman that gets taken care of. You got to level all the way up. You got to be the proper lady. You have to be feminine and you have to catch the eye of a man that has enough money to break you off some. Okay, because a lot of women. They come to this channel and they mistake that they have to do some work too. You got to do a lot of work. In fact, you're going to do most of the work on yourself in order to get that type of response from a man, right? Right, right. What do you think about same age relationships? I noticed that most men date women who are the same age. Um, for me, I couldn't do it. I'm too mature mentally. Most women are more mature mentally than men their own age. So you're going to run into a problem. Mm -hmm. So if you are the same age mentally, it still wouldn't work for me because I need somebody to lift me up. I need somebody to do for me. I need somebody to pave the way for me. I can't be sitting here taking turns and stuff. Thank you, Glenn Thomas. Great show. I've been listening to for some years now. I've always wondered if a if it's a way for a woman to follow your ideologies and still be Christian. Um, thank you for the donation, by the way. Um, there is a way, but for me, is here's my question. Is there a way to be a pastor and still be Christian? Okay, don't let me get on these pastors. The very man that's telling you stuff in your church don't even follow Christian guidelines. So, um, I think it's more of a label than it is really a way of life these days. So, I feel like, you know, if you want to stay within the Christian guidelines, you may not be able to on this channel. You might have to tweak it a little bit, okay? Because, like, I'm just going to be on it 100% real. There are pastors in my inbox. Okay. <laughs> so I don't even know if the pastors are following their own guidelines, what they teach. So, I, I mean, I, I couldn't expect anybody else to do the same. But thank you. Um, but I, I do appreciate that question and the donation and I just say, take what you can and leave the rest and 
Make it work for your guidelines. Okay? But I could, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, child. Um, yes, my mom's a pastor flirted with me. <laughs> your mom's pastor flirted with you? Girl, any pastor will flirt with you. As long as they got eyes. And they straight, shoot, they might even be both. They don't, it don't even matter these days, shoot. Okay. Rihanna has tattoos and a rich man. Okay, go see if that works for you, baby. Go see if that work. Okay, I'm just saving until I can buy a wig and then I'll go out. Good, okay. Good, good for you. At least you're working towards it. Hey, G Gage, thank you for the donation. Thank you. It's about the storm. Y'all hear that thunder? Uh huh. She also has millions and green eyes. You got that? Like, you can't compare yourself to celebrities. That just doesn't work out. Yeah. I mean, you can, but you can't compare yourself. Like, you know, pick Misha sitting over there with a bunch of tattoos. It's not the same as Brianna. It's not the same. If it were, pick Misha would have her a billionaire too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it seems like some older men are nervous about being in a relationship with a younger woman. It it does, but you have to make them feel comfortable. If they forget that you're young, mentally, it's easier. Like you, you got to find, you know, you got to find a way to merge that. You know, you can't keep using slang words or doing stuff that's too trendy. You have to find a classical medium. Like, you got to find a way to dress that's not super trendy. You got to find a way to speak that doesn't have like curse words or slang and everything you you know that comes out of your mouth. You have to find some music or some type of entertainment that is, you know, gonna be neutral as far as age is concerned. So you have to get out of, you know, thinking one way. You need to think, um, you know, how is this person going to feel comfortable? Are they going to be reminded of how old they are every time they see me or speak with me on the phone? You know, so you need to keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. The best website to meet a sugar daddy is in person. It ain't online. Why do men pick trash to cheat with? Because they are disposable throwaway. Why would, you know, it's it's kind of like using a plastic fork. It's quick, it's convenient, it's easy, it's, uh, and you can throw it away or recycle it. Okay? They're not, <laughs> okay? They invest in the real silverware but they may go and use a plastic fork when they're out. And the whole point is they are disposable. That's why. If you you should be lucky if uh, a man cheated on you with someone disposable. That means his heart wasn't in it. That means she's disposable. She's a throwaway. She's a pick Misha. Okay. So, and don't ever let, a, uh, don't ever let what a man does in his free time affect how you feel about yourself. Because you know why? You could be doing even better, except you could be leveling up on him and getting a replacement on your plan B. Don't worry about what he's doing over there with plastic forks. Okay? You you the silverware, you good, you know, your value never goes down. Where can I meet the screen? Where can you meet and screen new perspective, perspective targets in the rich area of town? Only hang out where the very rich live and shop. And you are bound to run into someone, whether it's on purpose or by accident. Stay where you want to be. You know, start going to fundraising events. Start volunteering at certain places um, uh, frequent. Mm -hmm. But the very rich in my area are very Caucasian. Okay, well then go, go find an African area. There are very rich Africans. Okay. I know like. Yes. Go find you a rich African area. How you doing? Mm -hmm. 
What does it mean when the man keeps the trash girl? That means he likes takeout. He likes trash. He likes a side of trash. Sometimes that trash girl is what keeps him with you. And I know it's sad, but he doesn't want to get rid of the trash because he's not 100% sure that it's going to work out with you or that he can do the things that he can do with trash girl with you. You may be too good to be his one and only because he like maybe he have a freaky side that he don't want you exposed to. I don't know. In a book I read that women are like flowers. Our job is to be beautiful and smell good. And the man that sees that has no other choice but to pick us, bring us home and to keep and enjoy the flower doesn't do nothing. That's right. That's true. But you got to be a beautiful flower to even be picked. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, here's my thing. Thank you for the donation. If you are not, the flowers are beautiful. Flowers are beautiful. You got to be pretty. That's, that's, if there's other beautiful flowers around you, you got to be the best looking flower. He ain't going to pick the ugliest flower. He ain't going to pick the flower that's half dead. He ain't going to pick the flower that's drooping. He ain't going to pick the flower that can't be seen. That's not as colorful as, you know, this flower. So you got to compete still. You still got to compete because you're going to be in a field of flowers. You ain't, you never seen just one flower growing somewhere. There's a bunch of them are everywhere. So yes, be that flower and get picked and, and don't, don't do nothing. <laughs> I, I like that actually. That's very good advice. Um, you got to stand out. Exactly. You got to smell the best and stand out. I got my tattoos after married. My husband paid for these. And this is my, my tattoos. Michael and stars. That's all I got. He paid for them. I got them at 33. Long ago. <laughs> okay. Didn't have any tattoos prior. But, you know, I think if you can hide your tattoos, I think that's okay. As long as there ain't nobody else's name on them. Um, hey, Sash. Tattoos are trashy. Yeah, get them after you marry and with kids and stuff. <laughs> um, if you really want them. I'm not getting anybody's name on me. I didn't get nobody's name on me either. I got somebody's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Some eyebrows on flake, baby. Um, <laughs> whenever I feel alone, I know I'll be there. <laughs> okay. I'm pregnant by this cheater. I'm wrong for cutting him out. Girl, if that if the cheater got money, hopefully he has money. If you're pregnant by a, a broke man, uh, that's your fault. Okay? Like, you shouldn't be doing anything with anybody broke anyway. I don't even care if he cheating. Is he broke? If Does he have money? Because the cheating part is irrelevant. They all going to cheat. Does he got money? Mm-hmm. I'm into a guy who is religious and he doesn't want to good. Get some money. <laughs> when he asks about your future dream, he's old and rich. Tell him you want to own your own something. Make it up, child. Rich people love business owners. Want people that want to own their own business. Mm hmm. Took you 12 years to get pregnant. He ain't got no money. Well, it's a miracle. You better ha you better keep your kid and be thankful you got one. Because if he took you 12 years to get pregnant, that's all you really wanted was the child. You didn't want him. So be thankful and start getting your nursery together and, you know, be happy. Put him on child support. At least you got somebody to put on child support. At least you know who the daddy is. Shoot. 
I just say, you know, if you've been waiting 12 years, just go ahead and have your child. I'm sure you could take care of yourself. And once the child is born, go ahead and put them on child support. Okay? Just that. <laughs> I just decided I was going to go where I was treated the best and they're intrigued by us. Yeah, good. Get your, get your money where it's coming. You know, where it's coming from. Shira, do you believe that men really don't care what a woman does for work? Girl, I know they don't care unless they need some of your money. <laughs> Unless a man needs some of your money and you're like, as long as you're not on a pole, on them movies, I don't really think they care if they don't need any of your money. Okay. <laughs> sure. What do I say when a wealthy old man asks if I'm dating multiple people? No, you always lie, girl. No, I'm. You know, I'm only I'm only with you right now. You know, there's nobody else that I really like. You know, I don't I'm 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 not really a people person. I'm shy. I don't know. There's just something that you know. You and I just click. I, this is very rare for me, girl. Keep lie. <laughs> so you have a big family. I always go to dinner every Wednesday night with my mom and my sisters and blah 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 blah. blah. That way, you that's your other date night, girl. Have some backup pictures to send them while you on date night. Come on. Got to get smart with it. <laughs> okay. Advice for first date options when he asked to think about where to go and what to do. Should I go around shopping center? Yeah, get a, get a nice restaurant. Uh, go on a Friday or a Saturday night when you know there's going to be a long wait. And make sure... You're right next to a shopping center that way, like right next door or something. That way, while you're waiting, you can go shopping or right after dinner. You, uh, make sure you make reservations early for dinner. That way you can go shop or even lunch. Took your advice, told a six-figure man I'm starting a business and him and his rich friends are investing in me now. I'm scared. Girl, it don't matter. Get your money. Don't ever tell them you're going to give money back. If you tell people you're going to give money back, then you're not doing it correct. It's a gift. Your business can be online. You, you can send them, send them my website. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Tell them. <laughs> but the whole point is... <laughs> Good. It's not a loan. Then keep your money and tell them you, you're investing in your online business. They don't need to know. Tell them you're selling some type of feminine products. I don't care. They ain't going to be looking for it. Tell them, oh, it's a makeup business. <laughs> okay. She or can you do a video on exactly what things to shut up about when talking to everything? Shut up about everything. If you didn't write it down before, if it ain't made up, if it, if you didn't, if this is not a complete work of fiction mixed with a sprinkle, sprinkle of truth, then you should be saying it. <laughs> write your own script before you go out. That way you don't have to worry about it. What do you need him to know? Strate be strategic with it. Does he need to know you have a dog in case you need dog surgery money? Does he need to know that you um, are a part-time receptionist so that he know you ain't got no money. Okay, you need to write down your, your story. Okay, that's my best advice. That way you know exactly when you talk too much why you're not getting those calls back. Mm-hmm. Ask him questions about his childhood, his family pets, when he was growing up, who he was close to. So you can use all of those things to pull at his heartstrings when you need to get some money later. Mm -hmm. Listen and ask more questions than you do talk. He don't care about what's coming out your mouth. You don't care about what you're saying anyway. Get the information so that you can get what you need later on. 
Thank you, brand name Becca. All that ran together. I had to like really look at it. She was their level up group, level up chart I can follow. Yes. I don't I don't make charts. Okay. Level up is more mental. It's not something that you can just check off. Look, every day is your level up. Wake up in the morning, get dressed, do your hair, do your makeup, put on some cute uh, clothes. That's a cute shoe. That's that's your checklist for every day. Ask for help every day from a man. When you need something, talk in a baby voice to get it. There is no checklist, you know. When you get your sugar daddy, that's the final check. Then you good. When you don't have to work no more, you put the big check with the Sharpie marker. Check. Okay. <laughs> Just keep going until you're not working. Then you can put the final check. There you go. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I, you love being shallow. Me too. It's such a change and fun place to be after being deep. <laughs> the law of polarity. Check, check, and check, 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 and his check too, right? Females are too shallow. That's right. When we want to be deep. We can be deep. But when it's time to be shallow, we can be shallow. Sometimes it's time to be shallow. Um, mm -hmm. If you, right. You can't all, there's no, there is no one dimension to anybody. I can be shallow one day and talk about something that you will never understand tomorrow. But I, I'm going to have exactly what I need when I need it. Oh, huh. <laughs> Bed Winch Inc. Better than bus stopping, baby. Because I could take I could take that money and go right down the street and buy me a business. And now I'm a black owned business. And you still at that bus stop. You better learn how to you better learn how to get what you need to get and, and keep it moving. <laughs> you still gonna be bus stop Billy. Bus stop Billy at the bus stop. Waiting on his bus. Um, thank you, Alyssa Jolin. Jolin, going for a boob consultation with him tomorrow. Suggestion to add on something else. BB and book Street and got it. Anything else I should? Um, the aftercare, perhaps. I don't know. Like, whatever you can add on. Hey, see what you can get, child. <clears throat> Would I marry a non-American with money? As long as I can stay exactly where I am, <laughs> I'm not moving out the country. It, right. Unless, unless it's my, unless I pick the house, I got deeds, land, properties, dual citizenships, all that. I ain't moving. Um. <laughs> I'm like it's gonna have to be like a Janet Jackson deal. Do men only value women that they can show off to their friends? Yes. If they can't show you off to their friends, then your only value is the maid. Okay. And the nanny. It's true, right? It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. What is that? I see this. I see they disappeared quick. <laughs> mm hmm. Thank you, um, Talita. The older cousin, I didn't have to give the game to me earlier on in life. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Yep. Get the game now. It's never too late. Never too late. How can I talk to you besides on YouTube? Um, 
Well, you have to uh, schedule a consultation. Uh, I have like a lot of my links below. And I think you can contact, contact me through Etsy if you want to schedule a consultation. Yes. I have a long, beautiful, natural hair. Will I look dusty? Paint my nails, leveled up mentally. 18, you have no job. You're still young. Go have fun, girl. Um, if you're ready to really level up, you're gonna, you know, go have fun. Go have fun. You're too young. You know what I mean? You can date, just date older guys that have money. But for now, I just say just have fun. Just don't date anybody your own age. Right. Don't mention you went to college. In fact, you need money to go to college. <laughs> you see? You see where this is going, right? <laughs> okay. Click on my Etsy. Don't write me through Etsy. Yeah. Um, in my experience, wealthy men prefer educated women. Okay. Well, you can lie and say you're educated. Don't even matter. If you're going to ask to see your degree, you can go print one online. You know what I'm saying? What's he going to do? Quiz you? <laughs> okay. Deacons at church. Do they got deacon? Do they got money? Is it a mega church? They got they got a, they being paid to keep past the secrets. Like what's their pockets looking like? Okay. They they driving the bins. You know how they all some at some mega churches they give them a car. Sure, will you will tell you to ask a man what they yeah. 36 year old doctor interested. Too young. Huh? It's raining. I know it's raining. Didn't we just like mention it raining? Yes. Do I buy James anything? Maybe his birthday? Yeah, I buy him birthday gifts. I buy him socks and stuff too every once in a while. Socks. <gasps> she bought me socks. I bought Sasha socks too. Um, people love socks. It keeps your feet warm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, 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 right. If anybody is upset, like, about interracial dating, the whole thing is if a man wants to uplift his own kind of woman, he needs to uplift himself first. Don't be trying to convince a woman to to uh to take crumbs, okay? Lift yourself up first, then go get her. Otherwise, you're wasting your breath, time typing, whatever, whatever. Okay? Let's see what you can do. Don't try to convince us to level down. You, you need to level up, baby. Okay. <laughs> How can I join the Facebook group, please? Okay, uh, Callie, go to my fan page on Facebook called Shira71, like the number one, and there is a post. Scroll down and you'll see a post on how to join. Uh, contact D Taylor and she will add you to the group. It is a paid group, one a one-time fee. Stop having fun when you're tired of being single and played. Exactly. But in the long run, isn't is a disadvantage if someone marries an older guy because he can die too early? That's why you got insurance money, baby. And second husbands. How do I have the allowance conversation when men ask me? Ask for double for what you want. Make up a whole list of fake bills you got and double it. Throw some fake credit card bills on there and everything. Um, how long to wait before giving until you no longer work, baby? Until he paying all those bills? Until you in an exclusive relationship? 
and you don't have to work no more. So he's totally invested, totally. <laughs> Until he don't want you working. Right. What's a good job to pretend to have so they want a part-time receptionist? I mean, it costing you money to even talk to them. Okay. It means you have your paycheck is negative when it comes. <laughs> okay. Part time receptionist. And say you work at a temp agency so that you don't have a permanent location. That way they're going to try to come visit you at your job. <gasps> okay. You're so happy you found me. I'm Christian, but it does help in securing the bag here. Yeah. Look, tweak it however you need to tweak it. Mm -hmm. you take everything and, and make it work for you. Mm -hmm. How to not be desperate when you're over 30 and that clock is ticking. Act like there is no clock, baby. Act like you already have what you need. That's when people want you the most, when you already look like you ain't desperate. Hi, Shira. I realized I was Bob the Builder in the last relationship. Now, after reading your book, I bring nothing to the table. Hey, thank you for the donation and thank you for getting my book. Yeah, there's too many Bob the Builders out there. And, you know, there's too many pastors collected for building funds for you to be contributing. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, our society is crazy. We have women building, men laying on the couch, people collecting for building funds that don't exist and giving it to other women for their rent, for their building fund. It's a circle of lies. A circle of building. Get your money anyway. And it's the circle, the currency, the currency of life. Get in where you fit in. Somebody going to give it. Somebody going to give it. Somebody going to get it. Be the receiver. As a woman, you are the receiver naturally. Figure out how to bring it in. <laughs> I hope they don't copyright me this. That was from Disney, The Lion King. The ghetto Broadway version. Okay. <laughs> Move faster, sis. Get your bag. <laughs> Look to the stars. Okay. How to compete with Pick Me and Bob? You don't compete with them. Girl, you just wait for them to build up you a good old man. And you just stroll in there and take them. You don't have to compete. You the one that they saving money for while that other woman paying all them bills. You the one that they going to leave her for during his midnight, midlife crisis. You the one that's going to get the whole bag. So just wait. Be patient. Go find one about 48, 49. And have been with a Bob the Builder since for a long time. He right for the picking. Go, just go pick. Go pick him up. He got a good old savings. He's high up in his career. And he ain't feeling no guilt about leaving nobody because they got a good career and a job because they didn't build him up. Go, that's, what you, that's what they do. So there is no competition. You just get in where you fit in. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. Just a little something for your Starbucks. Oh, thank you, girl. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Auntie Who. Just go get him right at the ripe old, when he's ripe for the picking. Girl, I'm 5'9". I had on heels when I met James. Chatham. Wear your heels. What I don't understand is most of y'all been here 
about a year, but ask the same questions over. Girl, they 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 trying. They trying to get up the courage. Or some people are new, or maybe they forgot. Maybe they didn't see if my answers change. Who knows? Mm hmm. Where can I move to find the most men? You can't find something in your own hometown. You how you gonna find some something somewhere else? Go to where you look the best. There you go. Go to where you stand out the most. That's where I'm going. Go to bingo. Go to bingo. Just kidding. <laughs> go to bingo. Go to Luby's in the rich neighborhood, child. Go to Luby's. <gasps> anyway, I'm about to go, y'all, because it's Mm hmm. Shira, have you seen finding? Have you seen the 1960s exclusive executive wise leveled up school? In, uh uh. Is that a movie? Is it okay to date a man who is shorter than you? Sure, if his money long, hey, get some money. So you basically say lie your way into a man's pocket, a dumb rich dude. LOL. No, tell the truth and cross your fingers and hope for the best. Good luck to you. <laughs> That's how all y'all got jobs. You gonna be you gonna be honest to a man, but go interview and tell lies back to back. Girl, get your money. <laughs> Okay, you all geared up to lie on your interview, but gonna tell, but, but gonna take the truth serum on your date. Okay, makes sense. Um, I lied on every interview, every resume, every date. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sasha. I embellish the truth. I am very creative. Uh, I added some sprinkle, sprinkle to everything that I do as some extra seasoning. You know, seasoning food is lying. To disguise this taste. Yep. You got the bland, basic piece of food, and you season it, you lying. That's not how that tastes. It tastes plain. Mm hmm. All you got to do is sprinkle. Look, you, you tell somebody, oh, I made some chicken. Or I made some... Ramen. Was that the some... <laughs> It ain't just plain pasta. You didn't put something on it. You didn't put something in it. You didn't gave it a little distinction. Even you didn't, you didn't like made it more creative. Yeah. So you seasoning up your food, you lying. Somebody going to ask, oh, give me the chicken. Give me the pasta. It ain't going to taste like what you put on. Because you doctored it up. <laughs> it's your version of pasta. This is your version of a resume. <laughs> this is your version of <laughs> the truth. Okay. So it's not really lying, it's just your version. <laughs> right? If someone says if someone took you to art class and they gave you a statue to paint, everybody's statue going to look different after they finish painting it on that canvas. It ain't going to be the statue. There might be one that got close, but it's not going to all be the same story. It's not going to all be the same picture. It's not going to all be the same flavor or dish. Okay? So when, when, you, when you say lying, it's just your version of the truth that you choose to give someone. Just because someone enters your life that you barely know does not mean that they deserve to know your whole life story. Are they paying these bills? Okay, not yet. Well, then they don't need, they haven't paid for the truth. 
The truth is supposed to set you free. If it's not setting you free, then it ain't doing nothing for you. The truth comes later. <laughs> okay? The truth comes out later. Why? Because by the time it comes out, it's too late. They already, they already been hooked or hooked on you. They don't care what come out. Just like when half of y'all fall in love with these dusty dudes and then when the truth come out, I don't know how to let him go. Ugh. He still live with his mama. He got 10 kids, but five different baby mamas and I still love him. You can't let that go because he'd have lied so much. <laughs> he truthed so much. He truthed, he truthed it so much. And when the truth finally came out, now what you can't do, let him go. The truth has its time. This is not in the beginning. <laughs> they got to earn the truth. Um, <sighs> Sasha's laughing. Sasha, you already know. The truth is to be earned by individuals who just walk into your life. They, you know. Your life story is not to be told to people. <laughs> Unless you are the author of the memoirs of Sasha, then they don't get that life story. <laughs> right. And a lot of men are using women to divorce their entire lives. Exactly. I'm not finna tell you nothing. I'm gonna be a mystery or you're gonna get the fake story. Can't nobody tell, can't nobody make me tell you anything. Mm-hmm. You can't make me say nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. Shira, can you please do another live tonight? Mm-hmm. Mate, no. I'll think about it. Mm-hmm. I'll try. Mm-hmm. How do we lie for teens and kind of naive and childish with no right? Write your lies. You know, when you go to school and they tell you to write a fictional paper. Get your pen, get your notebook paper, girl, and start to start to write and create a new version of yourself. And that's who you say that you are. Creative writing 101. That way, it's very familiar. You created it. You wrote it. Make it believable, though. You got to mix some truth with lies. So add a little bit of truth in there. Not too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Didn't you say it was like a truth for a life sandwich? Mm-hmm. Truth sandwich. Mm -hmm. And like if you think about it, everyone does it. Advertisers do it when they show you a picture of food on TV. Half that stuff ain't even edible, but y'all looking there, looking at it, mouth watering. You looking at ice cream, it's some mashed potatoes. You know what I'm saying? When you're looking at a glass of Pepsi. It's something it's sprayed on with water and stuff that's like already evaporating mm -hmm. do you want to eat a mashed potato on a cone she said you want to eat mashed potatoes on a cone <laughs> do you want to eat a pumpkin pie with shaving cream no none of us do <laughs> but that's what they show you on tv so you aren't go running by it you sitting there oh this that look good yes it does look good um mashed potatoes on a cone with shaving cream. Yum, yum. Delicious. <laughs> Would you like a raw chicken with some self-tanner on it? Would you like raw chicken with self-tanner? <laughs> Sasha, you so silly. Yeah. Is dating a man in Texas better than in New York? Yes, it is, child. Yes, it is. Bye, Sasha. Bye. Love you. Mm hmm so, just think everything you know, everything you see, everything some, something represents is a lie. So, why are you so honest? That's how the world works. Your pastor get up to, to on church and lie every day. Every time he get up on that pulpit, he lie. Every commercial you see is a lie. <laughs> so... You're going to come with the truth and wonder why you can't make it in the world. Why you don't have no good man. <laughs> and 
The only one thing you can't do is lie to yourself, though. If you know the truth, you understand who you are, what you are, the type of power you hold, that the world is not fair, never will be, never was, then you can create the life you pretty much want and you can be wise with how you um, create the life that you choose. Thank you, Robin R. Mm -hmm. You got to lie in this physical realm. Exactly. Look, stay honest to you and your children and the people that's very close to you. Everybody else, pick and choose who deserves to know what and whatever, whatever. Right. Um, lies get you way further. Exactly. When is it too soon to ask for help from a date? Come up with a bad situation. And if they don't rescue you, I really like you that much. Mm-hmm. Just think about it. If you really like someone and they had an emergency situation, wouldn't you help them? Like, um, wouldn't Pick Misha help man of her dreams if he was in an emergency situation? Especially if she had a lot of money. She would. So if they don't help you, if they don't rescue you, it's, and you have to make, you have to really be a good actress to pull off, you know, damsel in distress. You can't, and you need to be well researched. You know, some people are so lazy that they don't do the do enough research to properly get a man to help them. You know, and I've talked to many women who have said, "Well, I tried to get money using damsel in distress," and I asked them what they said, and I said, "That sounds like a scam, though." Like. Did you write this down? Did you rehearse it? Did you like throw some truth and lie together? Like this sounds like a scam. You, the wording is a scam. You know, this sounds bad. I wouldn't believe you. And I, you know, and these, these women are like, they don't know how to properly be damsel in distress. Okay. So first, before you try any of that, make sure you write that stuff down and run it by a few folks first. Thank you, LaBliss is me. How to stay from controlling manipulative men. Um, be a woman that doesn't need a controlling or manipulative men. man. You know what I'm saying? Be a woman that can easily step out and go get another one. Level up to that. Thank you, LaBliss. But, you know, you got to level up so good that you don't need that one. They lucky that you chose to spend your time with them. Or that you have many options. OK, you can't be controlled if you're always busy. If you have too much to do, busy yourself. A man can't control a busy woman. OK, I don't care if it's busy putting on makeup, busy shopping, busy going to charity events, busy getting your hair done. Stay busy. Don't sit around. Stay busy. Even if you ain't busy, lie and say you're busy. Mm hmm. Stop buying into the strong woman act. Men hate that. Exactly. Men don't, men only say that's, that's like a woman who don't want to cook and tell a man he's the best cook ever so that he will continue to cook and she ain't got to do nothing. Oh, you a strong woman. You, you are independent. That means he don't have to pay no bills, baby. That's just buttering someone up so you don't have to do no work. That's all that is. Okay. Think about it. If it, why would a man take away his ability to be strong in front of you to only put the word strong onto you as a woman. Isn't he supposed to be seen as strong? Wouldn't that emasculate him like automatically? Why would he do that? <laughs> so he ain't got to pay for you. So you, he knows that you ain't gonna ask him for nothing. And so he could continue to be the non-masculine man that he is. That's why. Mm -hmm. What do I think of Nino Brown? I think a lot of his financial information is good. But I don't think that his um, information, I don't think that his opinion on women are good. Because you see, he ain't got nobody. Why would you listen to somebody that's single? Ain't got no woman. Okay. I, I don't know. 
<laughs> but thank you guys so much. I will see you guys later. And thanks for everyone who donated. And I appreciate you guys. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I have one more lady at my job now wants to be my friend. She's not leveled up. She's ghetto. She used to be mean. Now she's nice. Should I befriend her girl? Get her to do all your dirty work and errands and let her earn, let her earn your friendship and then help her level up once she realized she can't hang out with you looking like that. I left how you keep, you left. How'd you keep James from acting feminine? He paid for everything. He wasn't acting no kind of feminine. He paid for everything. Right. <laughs> he was, he's a masculine man. He's old school. You don't play that. But um, yeah, just don't take her nowhere. Let her figure it out. Say, well, if we're going to go out, you need to love, you know, you need to do a little bit better. Then we can hang out at work, but I can't do nothing with you after work unless you do something about this. Just tell her. Maybe she wants you to help her level up. Thank you, Need Skills. But I got to go, y'all. Thank you all so much. <laughs>